watching Superscom.com and Carlos Raleigh and here with Dark Funeral's own Lord Ottoman. And uh, thank you for giving us a little bit of your time. We'll bug you with a few questions really quick. Basically, uh, you're currently on your third U.S. tour. You did one back in 2002, 2007. You're back. Uh, you're past the midpoint of this tour, practically. What have been your impressions so far of this tour here in the States? Yeah, well, it's always good to, to be touring the States. This time, uh, the turnouts have been bad on a couple of the nights, but uh, the response and uh, everything has been going well otherwise, you know. Okay. It's, a, it's a good tour, it's a good package, the chemistry be between the bands are really good and, uh, you know, I couldn't be happier to be, be part of this tour. Well, you're touring with your fellow country band as well from Sweden, yeah, <laughs> sure. from Grave. It's it good to see that bill here. Yeah, but also good to be with Morbid Angel, yeah, of course. Of course. Yeah. Um, great bill. Your last album, we have Angelus Exuru Pro Eternus, in Latin, was released on Regain Records in 2009. How did the process happen that you left Regain, are with Century Media now, and uh, can you talk about any future plans, future releases with Century Media? Well, we're still uh, trying to finish off uh, the whole business thing with Regain Records, the hard way. Uh, as it is in this fucked up business, uh, but we we have 20 years anniversary next year, so we have lots of plans. You know, special. There's going to be some special releases, some special shows, also. You know, some some. Uh, uh, we have we have shit lots of cool plans for for next year, and at the same time we we're going to work real hard to to try and get the new record out. How's the process for the new record coming? Anything written, recorded, in the process, thinking about it? <laughs> well, we, we have a structure already lined up for the next record. Some stuff is written, but we just, you know, it's been too much touring, so we haven't really had time to, you know, focus on that part yet. You know, new offers just been coming up, and we, we felt like, yeah, let's fucking go on the road, <laughs> you know, so. Yeah, but I think, you know, from December and on, we're going to, keep a low profile and, and try to focus on, on the new record and also all the 20 anniversary special stuff we have lined up of course that's going to require lots of work too from from us you've had uh, peter taktrin as your producer for several of your albums is he on board for the new album nothing is decided but i would love to work with peter again you know we we work really good together he knows us you know since forever and uh, it's always good to work with someone who understands the band, the music, and and I guess also my my weird size in the studio, you know, my picky things, you know, to deal with that. You recently toured uh, pretty much Mexico and then Central America and South America back in November and December 2011. You visited countries like Venezuela, Ecuador, Colombia. Uh, basically, you also, of course, to Mexico, Costa Rica. What is your impression of that specific tour? I mean, you basically, the fans, uh, any different from the European fans, from the American fans? Uh? Well, it wasn't the first time we toured over in South, South and Central America. Uh, but one thing is clear, the, the South and Central American crowd is more intense than anywhere on the planet. Uh, I heard India and uh, some of those countries are pretty wild too. But we haven't been there yet, but... So, it's still to be discovered. Well, you actually, you, you have a famous incident in the 2006 South American tour in Peru. You had a riot breakout over there. Yeah, and the Peruvian police even impounded your musical instruments over there. So, pretty intense. Yeah. <laughs> lots, lots of emotions. <laughs> Any plans to go back to Mexico, for example? I know you did a festival over there that was very successful. And you have a lot of fans as well in that country. Actually, we already been offered to go back to a few of those countries right after this one, but since we have a sh just a short window before we leave for Australia and Asia, we feel like we, we're definitely going to need that small window as a break, you know, so we don't want to add more dates than we already have. So, so we wait till, you know, maybe ne after the next record. And when is the, the Australian and the Asian tour pretty much uh, in the plans? Like, we have like 10 to 14 days off after this tour and then we leave again. Do a full Australia tour and then Asia, which what is uh, pretty much set up in Asia so far? 
I don't have all the details, but it's like Malaysia, Hong Kong, China, you know, all countries over there. Uh, I heard rumors about Bali and, and some other countries, but I, I haven't got everything fully confirmed yet, so. That's good, you're gonna make a lot of fans happy for sure. <laughs> and I mean, it's gonna be very interesting to discover new countries. We have been almost everywhere, and that's the part we haven't really been, you know, all over yet, so. And considering we've been to over 50, played over 50 countries so far or something like that, it's, you know, to be able to, to come to new countries, it's it's not that easy because we've been everywhere. So, so it's going to be a trip to, to discover something new for once. Are you headlining those tours? Yeah. There's our own gigs. you have the tour bill? Any other bands are coming with Dark Funeral? Uh, I heard, was it Thailand? Uh, it's not confirmed, but I heard something is if Vader was going to open for us. Okay. Uh, a co-headline or something. And I gave it a go at least if, if that if that's gonna happen. You know, it's a good band. I haven't seen the, the guys in a long time, so it would be cool to see them again. That'd be a great bill for sure. Going back to more of you know the genre that you represent, black metal itself. We've seen a lot of changes over the years as far as a lot of bands disbanding, not being able to hold it together anymore. Um, a lot of tribulations, a lot of uh, pretty much different instances, a lot of media exposure in different ways, negative, positive. But you're standing here, Dark Funeral is still here, so what do you think is pretty much the recipe for success in this genre that you have enjoyed? If there's any, of course, what do you think that you attribute the popularity of Dark Funeral, you know, still being here as a black metal band? Well, I think I always walk my own path. I don't follow any rules or anything, and uh, I don't really take much influences from any other bands. I just, you know, I live my, in my own bubble and, and do what I feel is right for us. And you know, sometimes we do weird things, you know. I guess, and uh, but still, just keep 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 us going. And I guess, you know, people realize that we're still a hardworking band, doing things our way, and not you know any copycat or you know, anything. So I think that is a very important part of being able to to keep on going as long as we have. Right now, you have basically from last year, you have two new members in the band. You have Sornheim and then Nachtkarm, if I say it right. I'm sorry if I <laughs> mess it up. They joined the band in 2011. So how have they contributed to the band so far? And how has been the fan reception to the new singer? Uh, it's been really, you know, especially for Nachtkarm, the, the response has been really, really good. Uh, even the most hard Die Hard Skeptic, uh, you know, has been coming out to the shows and like, man, you guys really proved us wrong, you know. And uh, that, that was our whole plan from the beginning. I mean, we can say and hype him as much as we like through interviews or press statement or whatever, but it doesn't mean a shit until, you know, we prove it on stage. Uh, and that was something I really wanted to do, you know, from the beginning. Like, we gotta go out there show the fucking world and all the skeptics like you know, we can fucking deliver better than ever now you know but it feels good of course it's you know i understand if people miss caligula he was a great part of the band i miss him too but you know life goes on the band goes on that's you know no it's good I mean, we can't wait to see the new material you know to hear the new material you're going to put out with the new members as well yeah. now more of a personal question if you will regarding yourself um, you are basically a very notable and open practitioner of what is called Lavean Satanism, right? Uh, I don't know, but that's, that's been, especially here in the States, we talked about it a couple of days ago. Um, I've never been a member of Church of Satan. Uh, I had a good contact to, to the inner circle back in the day. Uh, and I still have good contact to many of the people who were, uh, you know, adapted as priests uh, by LaVey. Uh, so I guess my connection to, to all these people have, uh, you know, made people think that I'm, I'm a member or, or more than that. Um, but I always walked my own way, you know. Well, I had a f great respect for LaVey and his, his work. 
you follow just a little bit of uh, the teachings, you follow a little bit of, of this atheistic notion, or you say you follow your own path. Yeah. Have you been influenced by it? At least the band has been influenced by it in some ways. No accusations, of course, over here. I mean, no, but I always felt like I am my own god. I walk, I, I put up my own rules and my own way that I want to walk, and you know, and maybe that that's one influence from from Lave for sure. Mm -hmm. The individual aspect of it, that's good. Yeah. Uh, well, you know, for last, we like to always end up with this. You know, your fans are listening, so whatever you want to say to them, this is your time. Fucking great to be back in the states. Um, Hope to see as many of you out there on the on the shows, you know, while we're here. And it's gonna be you know, it's gonna be great to continue this tour. Hail Satan.